All right, we got a four-part series coming up. We're going to call this ankle health, um, and we're just going to stay general right now with that. But I wanted to go in this area with you because I feel like this is those kind of the boring area that yeah. nobody wants to address yeah. this, but there's so much Until going on. Until it's a problem. Right, exactly. exactly. And, I, and I, I don't know how many times I see somebody squatting and they're, you know, they're pronating and, they're, and you see these issues that uh, nobody wants to pay attention to because it's the little muscles exactly. you got to work on. But yeah. so important. Well, these are often people's most common rate limiters, right? How many people come in? I have tight calves. So that's kind of where we'll start. Well, tight calves is kind of an ambiguous designation of, well, calf, just like the adductors, it's just a designation to a muscle group, right? So we have two major calf muscles, the soleus and the gastroc. So first, we're gonna start with the soleus. Okay. So soleus, kind of the bottom part. Yep. It kind of dives under the gastrox, and then its main designation different than the gastrox is the gastrox will actually cross the knee, work like a hamstring. Let's talk about secondary action of muscles, right? So we're dealing primarily in plantar flexion issues, so when we get to the bottom of the squat, those heels wanna come up. Plantar flexion, so we're opposing that. So the gastrox work in conjunction with the hamstring, so the secondary flexors of the knee, the soleus stop below the plane line of the joint. So we need to get the gastrox out of it in order to isolate the soleus in a stretch. So we'll have you come around here. What I want you to do is we're gonna drop heel below the bench. Okay. And then we're gonna come right over the top, trying to keep the heel below, pull the knee over the toe, and we're just gonna kind of grab either side of the bench, driving that heel down driving that knee forward at the Oh, this same reminds time. me a little bit of my combat stretch that I do. I have something similar to this. So yeah. you come down in this, yeah. and then when I'm in this position, you're kind of coming forward. Drive the heel down, okay. and then drive the knee over, trying to pull that body weight over the knee. So that's the key, is that when I go this way, the heel's gonna naturally wanna come with me. Yeah. I need to first get in that position, push the heel down. Exactly. While I'm also thinking about the heel being pushed down, I'm slowly coming forward, yeah. and you'll feel that. Yeah, you'll feel the difference, and as we move forward in the series, we'll address the gastroc. You should feel it down low, close to the insertion of the Achilles oh, yeah. tendon, where the soleus goes to that muscular tendinous junction. Um, and the biggest thing here is just position of the knee, right? The, and this is really our true rate limiter when we're squatting, because think of that position of the knee when we bury low into a squat. Yep. The knees are forward. If these gastrocs act like secondary flexors, then in full extension is going to be where they can be a rate limiter. So that's something we'll address in later videos, but that's the static soleus stretch. That would always be my So story. in other words, you're gonna see a lot of times when people are like squatting, he mentioned it earlier, is they do this. Yeah. You know, and even if you know, the heels don't come off, you, you will even just feel the weight of the your, intention shift right? forward. Shift forward exactly. when you do that. So awesome. Great place to start when we're talking about our ankle health. Make sure if you guys like these videos, you like, you subscribe, and you share. Every single day we drop a new video on this channel. Also, after this video, you'll see in the upper right-hand corner, you guys can do it. click on the link, take you right to our 30 days of free coaching. Check it out.